Hey guys, Steve from PC Budget Solutions here, and welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys very much for tuning in, and I've been teasing this on Facebook, my streams, and on previous videos, and that is, is did I make a mistake? Did downgrading from a 1050 Ti to a GT 1030 for my friend, was that a mistake with doing video editing for CUDA acceleration? Well, we are going to visit this. Now, I don't have a 1050 Ti. I have an RX 550. I have a GT 1030. We have basically software acceleration, basically what you would normally do. Or we have a GTX 1080. So I think the results are going to speak for themselves. We don't need that 1050 Ti. I have the results, and I don't think you guys are going to expect what you're about to see. So let's go ahead and take a look with what we're working with today. So this is pretty straightforward. I used a 1.2 gigabyte original file size 1080p at 5 minutes and 10 seconds long. The finish size at 1080p, 30fps, is right around 1.2 gigs. Now, downsizing it to 720p, cut that way down to about just under 230 megabytes. So those are the tests I ran. So let's take a look at how all these cards performed. So we have a lot to talk about. I really only have one slide to give you a picture of what these results look like. But long story short, at 1080p, 30fps, which is usually how I encode, it really didn't matter how we did it. Now, I actually usually encode using the YouTube 1080p, but apparently I ha did not have that loaded, so I did 1080p, 30fps. So pretty much, I would almost go to argue margin of error with the GTX 1080 performing a little bit better. Now, we take a look at 720p 30fps, and while it is about the same results across the board, again, margin of error, and I've ran these tests three to four times each, I stuck with my first results, but they were all within one to two seconds of each other. But this goes to show you, if you're doing 720p content at 30fps, smaller file sizes, Doing nothing but CPU encoding is a lot slower by about 30 to 35% slower than using GPU encoding or GPU acceleration in this regard. So I think this kind of answers the question of did I make a mistake? No. You can grab any modern graphics card, low end, mid range, high end, and use it for GPU acceleration. So that's our answer. I did not make a mistake and hopefully this will help you guys not make a mistake as well. Thank you guys for tuning in to the episode that I've been teasing for a while. I really hope this sheds some light on some of you newer content creators with how you want to build your computer. What's important and what's not. And in this test, I think we found out that realistically, a lot of cores and a lot of system memory is really, really, really important for larger file sizes. Now, if you're working with smaller file sizes or only 720p content, I think, and this is kind of an interesting topic, maybe for a later video down the road, let's take a look at doing these larger file sizes with four core processors like the Ryzen 5, 1400 and 1500X, four core hyperthreading, and see how GPU acceleration affects those. So that's going to be another video for another day. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you liked it, liked it. If you didn't like it, that's fine. I won't revisit this topic if you didn't like it. Leave a comment in the section below. Let's talk about, you know, what, what this video really means for you guys. And definitely subscribe if you like my content. But this is Steve from PC Budget Solutions. And I'll see you guys later on down the road.